Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of Dr. Stone, The New World, which is on episode 13, or episode 2 of New World, part 2 of Dr. Stone. Whatever situation that seems fitting for you. Anyways, this episode right here looks like to me, it's pretty devastating depending on how you look at it, but there could be some hope to come in the future, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that the group, you know, Senku and his group manages to revive Kaseki after grabbing all the parts here and there. You get the idea. Whatever the case may be, Kaseki looks like he's brand new. Whatever old age he has, it's all gone whatsoever, you know. And they end up making a drone or they have to make a drone to make things work. However, back to the village where like, um, whatchamacallit, Kohaku and like, um, get. Ginro, I think Ginro, right? Uh, Ginro, they apparently are in a very tight bind where Ginro is t asked to go see the master, you know? While Kohaku ends up clashing against, like, him, the villagers, the villagers' strongest warrior, which is the guy, which I don't remember his name, Mozu, etc. I don't care because he's not really on my, like, um, to remember list. Well, all I know is he's the strongest guy there is that gives Kohaku a hard time and that he actually surpasses Kohaku. Sadly, though, as for Ginro, you know, he ends up using some pineapple disease whatsoever that knocks out the strange old man. I don't know what the f his name is, but Ginro got, gets a good look of what the master looks like, and it's a statue, you know, sadly. And we have two that it looks like it's from Soyuz himself, and this actually, like, um, causes Ginro to have a death sentence, you know. Ginro, on the other hand, tries to run for his life and sees Kohaku asking her for help, you know, because that's his thing, but his stupidity of not... Of not understanding the situation and dropping his guard gets him stabbed into the gut and the organs, you know, that kind of thing. And this causes Kohaku to just go help him out. Eventually, Kohaku knows what's going to happen, so she decides to, like, make a big risk and get ready. And after Ginro passes on the message about who the master of the village is and so forth, Kohaku realizes that there's only one way to save Ginro or to stop her from dying, you know. We have to, Kohaku decides to pass on the message to like um, Amatilius or Amarilius whatsoever. And we have to, Kohaku gets ready to announce who's the master. But we have to, as she does that, to bait them out to like, to petrify them, you know. We get to see too what the petrification really looks like. It's actually some kind of small device of a certain ring, of a certain like, um, looking like, um, ring whatsoever, you know, whatever the case may be. One thing's for certain is though, one thing's for, one thing for certain though, is that this thing that they're using is actually based on science itself, you know. Even Senku was actually right about this from the start. Eventually, knowing that Kohaku and Ginro are about to turn to stone, Ginro tells Kohaku to like, um, trust, like, um, trust Senku, you know, no matter what. And it really sucks to see Kohaku and Ginro like I'm turned to stone, but I'm pretty sure they're going to return anyway whatsoever. It's going to happen because honestly from the get-go, whatever's going to happen to them, hopefully they'll be back in good shape. And it's going to, gonna, it's pretty much going to happen anyway because it is what it is. Although I don't know how long, although, although like um, Ginro did get stabbed, get, get, get stabbed, got stabbed pretty badly, you know. But Kohaku knowing that she's going to make them, um, take the risk with Ginro, they both turn to stone at the very end of the episode. Amaryllis can only watch on in total, like, um, sadness and, 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 like, um, disarray or just in sadness right now, knowing that we had to trust Senku and the others to, like, um, rely on this right now, you know, etc. Ginro agrees and they both get turned to stone right away, accepting their fate and hopefully Senku will be able to save them, save them, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, pretty, it, Sucks pretty badly, honestly, but like, um, it is what it is because what other choice do they have now, knowing that Ginro took a very bad stabbing gut, gut, a gut, gut blow, you know, that kind of thing. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see if Senku and the others can like him um, arrive on time to like, um, save him. But we'll, but we'll, we'll find out next episode, etc., you know, we'll see. Anyways, um, this episode right here kind of like um was very like um dangerous, intense, considering that Senku and the others manages to piece everyone together. However, they don't have enough revival fluid, and they will have to like wait for months to revive everyone, which they don't have time on, you know. Sadly, um, they revived Kaseki. Sorry, forgot to mention that, and he's back to crafting. As for Kohaku and Ginro, you know, Ginro took a fatal, got a dangerous fatal blow, and sent. Passes on the message to Kohaku, 
Kohaku passes passes on that message to like um, Amaryllis, Amaryllis, and then like um, they both turn to stone, knowing that Kohaku baits them out to turn them to stone because that's the only way to save Ginro, and that it's up to Senku and the others to save them both eventually. You know that kind of thing. So yeah. Next game, I mean next episode, deal game test of wit. So we'll have to see how this goes here. But I'm pretty sure Amaryllis will send the message to Senku and the others, knowing that there's no other there's no other time left. Anyways, looking forward to the next episode. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off visit. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.